Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to my colleague, Mr. Paulson, for helping advance this important measure. Um, this is a pretty straightforward bill with a straightforward mission, protecting taxpayers from tax identity theft and fraud. I'm sure everyone is familiar with a scheme that some enterprising criminals came up with to file fraudulent tax returns so they could collect money that didn't belong to them. I'm sure it's safe to say that constituents in every one of our districts went to file their taxes only to find out that they'd been filed already and someone else had claimed their return and their identity. In response, the IRS instituted a smart common sense program to assign PIN numbers to affected taxpayers without which they could not file their taxes. These six digit numbers would be reassigned each year and electronic returns would not be accepted without them. According to the American Coalition for Taxpayer Rights, it appears that this program has helped protect taxpayers and reduce fraudulent returns. The number of tax returns with confirmed identity theft dropped 32% from 2016 to 2017 alone and 57% during the 2015 to 2017 period. Yet, tax identity thieves are still claiming millions of dollars in fraudulently obtained refunds. By broadening the IP PIN program to all taxpayers, instead of only making it available to identity theft victims and individuals in pilot project states, we can be proactive about keeping taxpayers' personal information and hard-earned dollars safe. We can also make further progress in reducing the instances of fraud during the filing season. This is a proven program and a no-brainer, and I look forward to seeing this put in place for all of our constituents. I urge my colleagues to support this legislation, and I yield back. Thank you. We'll now 